Welcome to Behold, a podcast for women longing to live a life worthy of the call they have received. I'm Christy Horsch, and this is episode 66. Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode 66 of the podcast. I am so grateful that you are here and joining me today. Today, we are going to talk about weight loss, but we are going to get started with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Come, Holy Spirit, come and fill our hearts and our minds. Help us to see you. Please grant us the wisdom to have eyes like you have, to see ourselves the way that you see us. Please give us that wisdom to be very candid with ourselves, honest with ourselves. Help us to build trust with ourselves so that we can live that life that you've destined us to live, a life that gives you glory, a life that shines in the darkness, a life that is what you have called us to be. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. I don't know if you can, if the microphone's picking it up, but I have the baby in here with me, and she is just babbling away. It's her, it's her podcast debut of, of speaking on the podcast. So if you can hear her, I hope you enjoy her sweet baby sounds. Anyway, today we are going to talk a little bit about weight loss. Because I know that this is a topic that many of you are interested in. And even if you are not, many of the tips that I'm going to give you today can easily be transferred to your own goals. If you have a different goal or a dream that you're working towards, these are the kind of things that you need to move forward in weight loss or in any other goal. So Beckend, which is the Behold Monthly Membership, does have a weight loss program. And this program is actually started as a standalone program. It wasn't part of the membership. It was just all on its own as a 60 day program. And it's a powerful program that's helped many women lose weight and keep that weight off. And I am current, I have added that program or I'm adding to that program a little bit. I'm updating it a little bit, freshening some of it up, and it is going to be releasing again in Beckend this October. And we're going to be doing a fun challenge with it. It's going to be really great. So if you are hoping that in this last part of the year to lose a bit, a little bit of weight, I would love to help you with that. This is the program that I used and I lost over a hundred pounds using these methods. I did have another baby this summer, so I'm losing weight again, but it's been so different this time because I've had these tools right from the start. And so it's just been a much easier journey this way. And I'd like to take you on that journey with me. So I hope that you will join Beckend and we can do this together. So I have done an episode on weight loss previously, and there was a little workshop on weight loss on the Behold site as well. But I wanted to do this episode because there are just so many layers to our weight loss journeys. And one of the things that is so important as we learn to lose the weight for the last time is honesty and trust. Now you might think that you are honest with yourself, but I would really challenge you on that. When you think about your weight loss, what is it that you're telling yourself? Maybe you're telling yourself, I can't do this. I'm not strong enough. I don't have the willpower. I love food too much to change the way I eat. I'm not worth the effort. Nothing will work for me. If these kind of thoughts sound familiar, then you're not being honest with yourself. Our brain repeats these thoughts so often that we really do believe that they're true, but they aren't. So let's counter some of these thoughts with truth that we know based on God's word. When we think that thought, I can't do this, or I'm not strong enough, we have to remember that we can do all things who, with things through God who strengthens us. When we think, I don't have that willpower to be able to make this happen, we can remember, my power is made perfect in your weakness, God tells us. 
when we think I'm not the worth worth the effort, we can remember that we've been told that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. When we think nothing will work for me, we can remember that God said his grace is sufficient. And when we think I love food too much to change the way I eat, we can remember that in the commandments we're told that you shall love the Lord with all your heart and mind and soul, and that we want our relationship with food to be rightly ordered. We want to love the Lord more than food. So we don't love food too much to stop. We're just getting to the point where we want to rightly order food in our life. This is another area that we need to be boldly honest with ourselves. When it comes to weight loss, we have to ask ourselves, has food become an idol for me? It's really easy to let this happen. And the Lord warns us about it in Philippians 3.19. He says, their God is their stomach. Their glory is in their shame. Their minds are occupied with earthly things. Whoa, if that, that is a tough verse to swallow. Like literally, honestly, time, if we're looking honestly, does this resonate with you? Is your stomach your God? Do your urges for food control you? Is your mind constantly occupied with food? And if you answered yes to any of these, it is time to get really honest with yourself about your relationship with food and about how the Lord is calling you in this relationship. The Lord designed our bodies. He designed us to eat and drink. So there's nothing wrong with eating and drinking. It's necessary for our survival. He also made it pleasurable so that we can enjoy eating but it isn't meant to take the place of the Lord. When we have a bad day, do we turn to him or do we turn to the pantry? When we want to celebrate, do we sing his praises or do we only feast? When we're exhausted, do we rest in the Lord or in a bag of chips? It's time to be completely honest because without honesty, we won't recognize the root of the problem. And in my experience of coaching women through their weight loss, the root of the problem is rarely the food. Besides learning how to be honest with ourselves, we also need to learn to trust ourselves. We need to be able to trust that we are going to be women of integrity and do what we say we will do. This means when we make a plan for our weight loss, we're going to follow through. If we can't trust ourselves to follow through, we're going to be in a situation where we have to white knuckle it. And that's going to happen more and more often because then we're going to stop planning and stop caring for ourselves. This means we have to trust that we have our own back, that we will take care of ourselves, that we will set ourselves up for success. We need to be able to trust ourselves, to be honest, to think true thoughts, to help us see where we need to change. Then trust ourselves to follow through and actually do something about it. To do this, we need to trust God. We need to believe that he is who he says he is And that if he inspires a dream to lose the weight, he will see it to fruition. We need to trust that we can lean on him and that he wants us to care for our body. Our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. He wants it well cared for. But how do we learn how to do this? How do we learn to be completely honest, to trust ourselves and the Lord, to be trustworthy? And I think the answer might surprise you. We learn to be honest, to trust, to be trustworthy by learning to love ourselves. Many of us speak in a very degrading voice in our head. We beat ourselves up. We think thoughts about ourselves, which we wouldn't dream of saying to someone else. We need to learn how to speak in our mind as if we were speaking to a child, a child who is so very loved because you are so very loved by our creator and Lord. We need to learn how to give ourselves grace, to care for ourselves when things are hard, to reward ourselves in a healthy way when we have a victory. We need to love ourselves so we can care for ourselves in a way that is fitting of being a beloved daughter to the King. So come and join us in Beckoned. This is what we're focusing on, learning to love so we can build this honesty and trust that we need to lose the weight. If you're listening to this in real time, 
We're approaching the last 90 days of the year. This is your time to shine. When we learn to love, truly love ourselves as a beloved daughter of the King, we grow in the capacity to be honest with ourselves because we know that honesty comes from love and a desire to do better. And we grow in the capacity to trust ourselves because we know we can be counted on. And when we learn to be honest and to trust, then we're one step closer to living our life worthy of the call we have received. I'm Christy Horsch. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless.